when you and I see the same thing, not you see the thing differently and I see it differently, when both of us see something actually happening as it is, then we can both look at it. But we say that is not happening, only it's imagination, or it's this, that, the other. You follow what I'm saying? So what will make us come together? I'm not talking sexually, that's the, in, a, in this permissive world that's the most silly, obvious thing. And we think that is being together. Let us put the question differently. If there is no tomorrow, psychologically the future, <coughs> what is my action towards another? Future implies no ideals and no past either. You understand this? If the future you deny psychologically, you also must deny the past. I don't know if you follow this. Gosh! Will you let your past go? Your, your hurts, the wounds that you have received, the unfulfilled desires, the anxieties, which is the past. So psychologically, if there is no future, tomorrow, future, it applies also psychologically, there is no past. I wonder if you see this. You can't have one <laughs> and reject the other. They are the same movement. And that's our difficulty. Our difficulty is to let go either the past or the future. Because we are frightened. I won't go into that now, but look at it, what we are doing. We want to change the world, it is necessary for our grand... You know, sir, if you love somebody with your heart and with your blood, with your whole being love somebody, and you have a small child whom you love, do you want him to enter into this world? So what will, shall we do? But you are not interested in it. 